Hey beautiful babes and welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I've been over here on YouTube. Um, I've been posting my shorts but I haven't posted a long form tutorial in a minute. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to hop into a super fun unedited tutorial with you all on how to make the newest snow globe tumbler from Mother Tumbler. These tumblers are 24 ounces and they already have the hole pre-drilled at the bottom. I'm gonna tell you my favorite solution. We're gonna put the glitter in together. We are gonna decorate this with some decals and then we're gonna seal the bottom up together so you get to see exactly how to do it. All right, now I know, oh wait, hold on. All right, now I know that my space right here is messy, messy moo messy right now but you know what this is realistic this is usually how my space looks stuff all around me stuff everywhere so do you know what this is just how it's going to be today because i want to show you how to make the snow globe tumbler all right so this is my my new favorite solution to use is just plain old baby oil that you get from dollar tree i mean you can get baby oil anywhere but it literally looks like a lava lamp when you flip it upside down and it starts to fall down in like these cool, um, I don't know, it just looks really cool. I, lo I love the way it looks. And then if you shake it up, I mean, it has a really good flow to it. It stays around the tumbler for a while, um, especially if like you let it fall down. It's, it's just really nice. So we are going to make this together today. This is the new 24 ounce from Mother Tumbler. And my daughter, ha my daughter's best friend has a birthday coming up, so I made her a purple one. And for my daughter, her favorite color is teal, so I picked some of my favorite teals um, to make our snow globe tumbler. Now the glitters that I'm using are all from the Glitter Heart Company, and whenever I do a snow globe tumbler, I don't like to pick just one glitter. I like to pick different types of glitter so that we get that variation in there and it just looks really pretty. So I have a chunky metallic. These, um, this glitter right here, they're kind of like, it's like a mirror, but blue. I love these, I love this whole line so much. It's the Iced Collection, so this one is called Iced Sea, and it's just a really good teal. Then we have Swirl and Splash, and this is part of the Tie-Dye Collection. Let me get up close so you can see. And also, I do have my babies with me today, so you'll probably see them, hear them around in the background, because they're always with me. Yes, Ba! What, do you want your Baba? Mommy, put, you have your Baba out there. Now we have Iceberg. Now this is a holographic chunky. I love that. And then Blue Opal. A bunch of, a lot of opals have different colorways. So this one is a blue opal. It's gonna flash blue and purple. And I love that because it goes with the teal. Here's an example of another opal. This one is called Unicorn Farts. Can we even with the name? And it um, it flashes um, like a lot of different colors. So almost rainbow colors. And I like that one too, but we're gonna stick with the blue opal because that's what we're going for. Her favorite color is teal, so we are gonna stick in that colorway. All right, one sec. Uh, all right, psych, I said that it wouldn't be edited, but I may have to edit some things just in case we lose a baba again and I have to go find said baba for little chole. All right, so I have my baby oil. I transferred it into a squeeze bottle like this. Um, I get my baby oil just from the Dollar Tree, $1.25, comes in a larger container now, um, like this, the 10, 10 ounces. One, um, I use less than 10 ounces to fill the other entire tumbler that you see here, all right? Less than 10 ounces to fill that entire baby up. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put a little bit of the baby oil in the bottom of the tumbler so that this way, um, the glitter doesn't stick into the top there, all right? So I'm just going to kind of take this like so and put some into the bottom edge there. Boom, perfect. All right, hold on, I don't wanna get baby oil everywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on, gotta figure out what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. They have other squeeze containers that have like a little hook so that you can kind of get it in there a lot easier. I swear I bought them on Amazon. I just looked around this entire premises. Granted, it's not super, 
tidied up in here, but I looked, did not find them, so here's what we're doing. All right, so first I'm gonna go in with Iced Sea, which I'm telling you, so pretty. Such a good glitter. Now, the other thing that I like about these tumblers is that there's a lip here. There's a natural lip, so the glitter's just not gonna fall off, right? It's gonna be easier for us to shake this baby in. Another little tick and, uh, tick. Tip and trick that I've seen for this is to use one of those um, muscle vibrators, those things, and it's like burp, 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 like that, and then it shakes the glitter on up in there. But um, that's upstairs, and and I don't know exactly like where my husband put it because he uses that thing all the time. Because that man, I'm telling you, he is a football player, and he's active duty army, and he is like always messing up himself. So we need that all the time. So I don't even know where it is, but we have one. All right, so we're just gonna shake it in. The hole, the, the hole on this one is a nice size. Obviously it's not shaking in um, so easily because I had the, um, the baby oil there, so it's getting a little stuck there, but that's okay. It will get in, I promise. It will get in. Tap it on down in the hole. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Shake it on down. Oh my gosh, can you see how pretty that color is? I mean, it is just gorgeous. I have a little stir stick. I'm just gonna try to use this to kind of like push it on down in the hole. Oh, there we go. There we go. So originally, um, when Mother Tumblr came out with snow globes, they have the glass ones, which they still have. And those are sublimation glass cans, which I love. I, I still love those, I still use those. I have actually, I have a bunch around me um, that I've been working on. But when they first came out, the 12 ounces, I believe, had a very small hole at the bottom and it was very hard to get glitter in. But those have since been fixed and I think my favorite size of those is the 15 ounce and the, um, or no, the 16 ounce, excuse me. So, so, so good. All right, so now we have that pretty color in there. Let me get it up close and personal so you can see. But the, it's, Seriously looks like little blue mirrors. Just perfect. This my my daughter is going to freak out over this. This is her favorite color. Her favorite color. I'm gonna put a little more in there for good measure. And see, I like the lip there. Like I said before, when I would have to do it on the glass ones, there's no little lip, and it's just uh, you have to, they have like, sili there are silicone bands that you can get to go around the top of them. All right, the next one we are going to do Swirl and Splash, and that's from the Tie-Dye Collection. These are, this is like an opaque, kind of opaly white and, and teal, like mixed in there. So, you know, I like the variation. We got to get the variation in the snow globe so that when you shake it, it just looks good and interesting and all of that great jazz. So we're gonna shaky, shaky. Yes, it is going in. Make sure that we're getting it all in there. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Now obviously the top of the tumbler, I have it flipped upside down, obviously, but the top of the tumbler is thinner. So the reason why we put that liquid in there is because we don't really want it to get all stuck right there. I mean, it'll eventually unstick itself, or at least from my experience, I've always had it unstick itself. Um, but yeah, hold on, I'm gonna stand up a little bit. Sometimes I just like to stand. I don't like to be sitting all the time. Do, 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 shake it all around. You can kind of see that it's going in. Oh dear Lord. All right. Almost all in, perfect, perfection, perfection. All right, I am going to use blue opal, which is very pretty. This is a gorgeous glitter. It's an opal, obviously, hence the name, but it flashes blue, which is what we want. We want it to flash blue because my daughter's favorite color is teal. And that's the style that we're going with. Ooh, I think the sun is coming out. Hallelujah. Oh, it is. Look. Finally, we have been in um, just grit. Ooh, look at that. 
Yes, Lord, for the rest of our day. Am I the only one who like sings TikTok songs every every moment? Not every moment, but I can't help it. I can't help myself. But you know what? I actually don't scroll as much as I used to, which is a good thing. <laughs> Because we really, we have to be aware of what we're doing, all right? We have to be aware of that. Because if my kids see me sitting there, just sitting on my phone, I don't want them to do that, all right? If I'm telling them not to do that, I shouldn't be doing it, right? All right, so there's the opal. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, iceberg. Iceberg is the hollow, the chunky hollow, and it's a small chunky. Which, okay, another thing that I should add about making these snow globe tumblers, all right, is when you're doing these, if you're not using the baby oil, certain mixes have a different type of flow. And the finer glitters will definitely kind of clump up and not look the best, all right? But I found with the baby oil, it is the most forgiving of those finer cut glitters. So you don't have to search high and low for just a chunky and because there are chunky mixes, all right? When you do those other ones, or the, um, like if you're using glycerin and water, I would recommend only chunky, not a chunky mix because you don't want those finer cuts in there. All right, now I'm using glow hearts. These are pretty cute. I did these in the other one, so I kind of want them to match with um, my daughters or with my daughter because so, cause they're besties so they're going to be so cute one of the things that I love about having kids and doing what I do it's just making the things for them and their friends it's so fun it's so fun and seeing the the reaction on their faces I love that I love it and Kenzie my, that's my daughter doesn't know that I'm making this for her so she's going to be so excited all right, so we have the glitter in there. I'm gonna put my finger on the bottom of the hole and I'm just gonna, oopsies. You know what, what's new? Glitter flying, nothing nothing wrong with that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's gonna look so, so, so good. Oh my gosh, yes. All right, we are gonna put some more, um, oh my gosh, that's just beautiful. Beautiful, Ooh, did you see that? I just snapped and glitter went everywhere, you know what? I love it. I love that. Okay, hold on. Let's put some more. What do I want to put some more of? Let's do the opal. The opal, because I'm kind of thinking for the outside of Kenzie's. Um, I'm going to look back and see if I have this um, vinyl from Banff. Banff Custom Creation sells those like sticker cows and the transparent and semi-transparent vinyl, which is so awesome. And I'm going to see if I can find some of the mermaid patterns from last year, because is like a freaking mermaid she's so cool so maybe we'll do this one mermaid themed and also it's teal so I mean I feel like that just makes sense okay let's do a little bit more glitter and as far as how much glitter you want to put in it doesn't matter it doesn't matter put as much as you want I usually do about two inches I mean you definitely don't want to overflow it but you don't want like a lack of glitter we don't want a lack of glitter we want to have in abundance. <laughs> um, so usually I'll put like about two inches of glitter in the bottom and that seems to be like my my sweet spot. All right, so I'm just using my finger to tuck all of that glitter in there. Can I blow it at you? <laughs> all right, now we're gonna put some more baby oil in here. Just start filling it up. Oopsies. But don't do what I did just there where we got some at the top. But if you do, that's totally fine because you know what? That's easy. It can literally just be taken off with alcohol, all right? Oh my goodness. Hi, Chloe. Chloe, what do we think about this, baby? Huh? Y'all? Y'all? All right, we're gonna fill it to almost full. And then I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna lift this up gently. All right, it is almost completely filled with the baby oil, all right? So now I'm just gonna kinda of take my finger, hold it over the bottom, and see, you can see some bubbles arising, that's what I wanna ha happen. I want the bubbles to come up around there. Hi, sweetie. What do we have there? We have the alphabets. 
All right, so now I'm gonna flip it upside down. And there's a big bubble around here. I'm gonna start moving this in a circular motion so that I can knock all of that glitter around from the top. And I'm just gonna kinda of keep doing this. Keep moving that bubble around like this so that all of that glitter falls down. Um, and we're gonna make sure that we get all of those bubbles out from the top area. So we just kinda of go like this. Chloe, look, baby. What we think, that pretty? You like it? Ooh, does it look like the ocean? All right, so I have a big chunk here. I may have to shake this a little bit. Ooh, look, 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 look. I try to avoid shaking like that because it creates more bubbles. Oh, yeah, yeah, but you know what? It's okay. If you hold it like so, and then you keep moving it in a circle like this, the, that bubble will go around and eventually loosen that glitter at the very top. You just kind of have to be patient and just let it work down because it's slow flow. Remember, this is the baby oil. It's the slow flow. And I can see those bubbles moving from the, that top rim here. And it's also, as we're doing this, it's also mixing, getting those glitters all nice around. Just keep going like this until that top rim becomes completely clear and free of that glitter that may be trapped up there. We're almost there. Chloe, I'm gonna do a little bit more here. What do you see out there, baby? What is it? Oh, shaky, shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky, shaky. All right. Oh, see, perfect. So that glob just came down, that glob of glitter. We got that nice and shaken out of there. What is it? Is Bear out there? You see Bear down there? All right. Oh, we got big doggies. Big, big doggies. All right. All right, perfect. So all of that glitter is, you can't tell, there's like a little piece is stuck, but there's the bubble moving around behind it. So what I'm gonna do now, she's saying hi there, is I'm gonna flip it upside down and I'm gonna let it sit like this for a little bit. I'm gonna pause the video, we'll come back. I'm gonna let all of those bubbles rise to the top and then we will finish this up. We'll be taking the UV resin outside in the sunlight outside in the sunlight because that's usually where I like to cure my resin up anyway, especially on a sunny day and the sun's coming out. Yay, okay, I am back. Um, we let this sit for a bit. I do not see any more bubbles. There are some tiny, tiny ones at the top, but I'm gonna show you how to get rid of those. And I'm so excited because the sun is out and now I can show you my favorite way to cure up the bottom of these tumblers. And it just means that we're gonna do this outside and get those natural UV rays. You could also put this outside on your windowsill or anything like that because I don't like to, um, number one, I don't use UV resin around my babies. Um, when you use UV resin, um, I usually don't touch it, but if I'm going to, you can put uh, nitrile gloves or um, these little finger, these little finger guys, all right? These are perfect, I love those. They're so easy because you just, just one finger and easy peasy, all right? Then, dun dun dun. Okay, so we're gonna fill up the bottom of this. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that pesky, pesky, pesky bubble that is at the top of your tumbler. So here we have the bottom of our snow globe. There is one bubble there. You can see if I move it around. I am going to get that right underneath of the hole. Here is the hole. I'm going to move the top around until that bubble gets right underneath. So that means I'm gonna kind of hold it at an angle. So I'm going to hold it at an angle. We're going to put the baby oil in and we're gonna fill it, fill it, fill her on up till she starts to overflow a little. And then we're gonna pull out. She is filled. Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't have put it down that hard. All right, she is filled to the top. From the bottom to the top. Okay, wait. Make it pop. I'm not gonna sing the rest of it. Okay, wait. So now we have that up here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, we need to get rid of all this oil. All right, I'm gonna soak up that oil with a cotton ball. 
we don't want any of that oil on there because our tape or whatever you're going to use to seal this baby up with will not stick. It won't stick, it won't do it. Let me make sure that I have, because some of that stuff just popped out of there when I shot it down, but that's okay. Alcohol, cotton ball. What? almost dropped it. Wipe up all of that oil. Get in those nooks and crannies, do it a couple times. Do it a couple times, all right? Now this one, putting that to the side, we're gonna get a fresh one, all right? Do it a few times. I'm gonna get out two more just to make sure that we are getting all of that oil off of there. I am using 91% alcohol. I'm gonna do a little quick swipe around that hole there. Get up all the little cotton pieces. Um, you can also use a coffee filter. Coffee filter is great. It won't leave behind any of the little cotton ball-y things that we have going on. I'm going to blow on it to make sure that the alcohol is drying and see if I see any film on there. And I don't. You know what? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little sanding pad. These are my, whoop, my sanding pads from the Crystal Light Company. I'm going to scuff up the surface a little bit. Now I'm doing that because this is how I like to prep before we put the UV resin down. All right, just scuff it on up just a little. Boom, nice and scuffed. You don't need that much. This is the 400 grit pad. I love those pads. Now I'm gonna take my last cotton ball that I was saving, more alcohol, clean that up. Clean that up, make sure we're, there's not any oily residue on here. All right, and just to let you all know, the baby is not in here, so don't worry about the UV resin, okay? Because the baby is not in here. Don't use the UV resin around your kids. Um, make sure you're using it in a well-ventilated area. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm literally right next to my window right here, which I'm about to pop open. I got my little finger thing if I need it, but first things first, let's talk about how you can seal this. There's so many different ways. There are now little plugs you can buy. You can put a piece of tape down. You can use a piece of a hot glue, um, a hot glue stick. You can use, um, wh when I do tumblers that don't have the oil, when I do just the glycerin, I don't even put a plug. I just literally put a little bit of UV resin on the top and it doesn't fall in. It just stays there. I cure it, sand it down, and then do more UV resin and then a sticker and then UV resin on top of that. And it is fine. Nothing has happened with those. They have all been all good in the hood. All right. So now what I am going to do is take some tape and I'm just going to put a little bit down over top of that hole that I had there. All right, the tape is on there. All right, tape is on. All right, it is completely covered and in there. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of UV resin. All right, I'm not touching the UV resin. Um, and we're, see, cause we are in the sunlight right now. So I'm just gonna do this really fast. And then I'm gonna take this outside, hold on. Just gonna put a little bit right there. Okay, and then we're gonna take my little stir stick, if you will, I'm just gonna spread that out on top of the tape that we had there. Now this is just um, to create like that first type of, like that first little part of like a plug, if you will. All right, this part does not have to be completely perfect. We're gonna do a few layers of UV resin, all right? So now I'm gonna take this and I am going to go put this outside and I will be right back. All right, now while we're waiting for that to cure up outside, I'm gonna clean up a little bit. And the good thing about letting it cure outside is number one, you're not having those fumes in your house. Number two, those natural UV rays, I feel like really just, oh my gosh, this glitter mix is so pretty. Um, just really do it a lot better than the lamp. I mean, I have a little lamp right here from Counterculture DIY. And this thing is okay, but you have to, for me, I feel like I have to run it a few times extra when I go, what, but in the Georgia sun, if I just put it outside for like a minute or two, we are, we are good. 
Um, I'm also, did I say? I'm using the UV resin from Counterculture DIY. I really like this. You can tell my bottle has been through it. I'm almost out of it and I squeeze it a lot. But it is a really good UV resin. Um, make sure that you're keeping it out of the sunlight. <laughs> um, especially if you uh, are, have it have any UV resin around the lid, just keep it out of the sunlight or you could accidentally glue it to itself. So I'm going to go check and see if our tumbler is done and I'll be right back. Yay! Okay, so that was sitting outside. That is nice and cured. Oh my goodness. There is a tiny bubble, a tiny bubble, one single tiny bubble. And I know where it has to be from. It has to be from when I slammed it down and some of the the stuff popped up and now there's just that one that one bubble jesus okay but anyway now what we're going to do is we're going to fill it up even more now you can use glitter you can put your glitter in here mix your glitter in with the uv resin and um make a nice glitter bottom i personally prefer to put my logo on the bottom because i feel like when i put the uv resin down first then I put my sticker on top. My sticker is covering that hole. And then I'm also putting UV resin on top of it again. I feel like, I don't know if it's mentally, but it gives it like that extra little bit of protection that I like. All right. And also the thing that I like about the bottom of these tumblers is that it has that natural lip. So it just looks, it looks really, really, really good in my opinion. Just very clean and the way that it's supposed, like, or at least to me, supposed to be, but you can put like um, a decal on here, whatever you want, your care instructions. Um, these stickers that I use are two inch stickers. Um, I get my stickers from Sticker Mule and I love them. I love them, love them, love them. All right, I will be right back. I'm actually gonna go, oh wait, before, actually I lied. So because I just put a little bit of UV resin there on top of that hole and the, the sticker, I mean um, the tape to, just kind of set the base, make sure that we are all good. Um, I am going to, it, it's not leveled out yet, so I'm gonna put some more UV resin in. I'm gonna move it out of the sunlight because I am in the sun now. And I'm going to put some more in there. I'm not adding glitter to my UV resin. Um, I'm gonna let this le self level out for a little bit, just a few minutes, like three minutes, and I won't keep you on for that, but we're gonna put it on like so. Now, remember, don't touch it. If you plan on touching it, um, use gloves. Use nitrile gloves or your little finger thing. I have a little silicone stir stick that I like to use to kind of move it around first. You can warm up your UV resin and like a bottle warmer ahead of time. Just, just a light warm, um, a, a light warm. Just, just for a few minutes to get it warm. You don't want it hot or anything. Just so that it moves around a little easier. All right, now if you have any bubbles, you're gonna let it sit. And if there's any bubbles that you see, you can lightly pop those with like a torch or a lighter. I'll show you what I have. I have both. Hold on, I'm gonna kind of go around the rim here too with the UV resin. God, it is so nice out. I can just feel the heat. It just feels so good. Sun, stay out. All right, so we're gonna move that around. Just help it self-level a little bit, make sure that it's on top of everything. All right, that looks good. Okay, put that there. Um, oop, make sure it's out of the sun. And let me just take my lighter really quickly, swoosh it around the top. Okay, I can see it popping the bubbles. You probably can't see it popping the bubbles, but it is doing that. I'm going to let this sit just for a few minutes before I go take it back outside. So I will be back and show you. All right. I'm deciding to bring you along with me so you can actually see what I mean when I'm saying that I'm putting it outside. Um, this is just how I like to do it. Let me flip you. So you're just going to sit it right outside in the sun. The sun was here. It just kind of went away. Boom just like this for a few minutes and it should cure up nice and amazing. Two minutes has kind of been the sweet spot for me. Yay, okay, we are nice and cured up 
And now I'm going to take my sticker and I'm just going to place it on the bottom. And I'm just gonna make sure that it's covering the hole as well. I like to do that. Oh no, I gotta go get Chole. Hold fast, I'll be right back. All right, so now we have our sticker on there and we are going to give it its final seal. You could add in a little bit of an opal or like a super fine opal if you wanted to. I'm not, I'm just going to seal it like this, add more UV resin. I'm going to put this outside, um, let it cure up, and then I am going to take a break and I'll be back, oh, well you won't know because this will all be together so you all have no idea but next time I come back I will have had lunch baby shall be down for a nap -a do and all will be good in the world do 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 all right so UV resin okay to go over top any little drips, I'm kind of like go off the side like slow. Make sure you're not touching it. If you plan on touching it, use gloves. I know I keep saying that, but I want you to know I am not planning on touching it. So that's why I just use this. Ooh, hold on, little piece of dust. All right, now we're just going to move that around. Now this is our last, our last coat. It's very easy. This stuff cures so fast. That's why I really like using this. Um, I typically, I don't use a lot of resin. I'm not anti-resin, even though I am like epoxy free. I, um, I just, I, I like to use my molds and stuff, but I have my she shed outside that I do all of that great jazz in. This is, um, I feel comfortable enough using this in my house. I'm not worried about it. But that's just me. You take whatever precautions you feel is necessary for you and your family. If you've had an epoxy allergy, then you definitely may need to like not use this or um, completely be geared up. Completely be geared up. This cures once the sunlight, hit, uh, the UV um, light start, the UV rays, excuse me, start to hit it. So. Um, I, that's why I'm not near it once it starts to go because I put it outside or I have a little UV light box if it is like an overcast day and not in and not good like that then I will put it in that box and then I'll walk out of the room while it's curing so we're gonna let that sit we're gonna let it even up level out I mean we're gonna hit it with a lighter I don't see too many bubbles we're just gonna let those rise to the top and um I will be back in a little bit to hit these. I'm gonna put it outside and then I'll see you soon, which you won't even know about. Yay! Okay, our snow globe tumbler is all completely done. Um, I am going to bling the lid and I am going to um, put decals on, but that will be in a different tutorial. That will be like in a part two type of tutorial. So if you wanna see that, then definitely check back Thank you for hanging out with me on my channel, guys. I appreciate you all so much. Let me know what you think about the colors used. If you have any questions about anything, um, the bottom is nice and cured. Look how nice that looks. I mean, really, I, it looks so good. I just love it. Um, yeah, so we are going to go ahead and seal it. Also, let me know in the comments, should I seal this with um, the new Grand Finale 2.0 from the Crystalette Company, or should I just do permanent vinyl? Um, you let me know, because I'd love to hear your thoughts, okay? Cheers. Have a nice day.